Yo, what is up guys, Blade here, and happy holidays to you guys and girls. And I'm back with a new video, and this might be the last video for the year. And in that regards, I'm looking forward to the new year. Hope you guys are as well. This year has been really well for me in terms of this channel and the amazing support, and hopefully 2016 will be a continuation of that. So anyways, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own mod pack for Minecraft and be able to upload that to the Technic launcher so you and other people can actually play that. And uh, yeah, so the first thing you want to do is right click on your desktop, go to new folder, and just make a folder. You can name this whatever you want. It really does not matter as we're going to delete this folder later on, but we're gonna go into that folder and I'm gonna make three new folders. One called bin, all lowercase, mods, and another one called config, just like that. And after you have done that, gotten all the three folders, we're gonna to go to our browser and go to the Java document. All the links will be down below in the description. But once you're here, you wanna click on the first link and go ahead and just update your Java and go ahead and go to the other link, which is the runtime environment and accept, then download the one that's applicable for your computer, 64 bit or the 32 bit. Um, this Doing this, installing the Java stuff will eliminate some problems in the future. So I highly recommend you do that. So after that, what you want to do is go to uh, Minecraft Forge. This link will be down below as well. And once you're here, you want to now decide on which version you're going to make your mod pack. So I'm just going to make my mod pack 1.8 because there's not a lot of mods that are available for 1.8.8 at the moment, but you can go with 1.7.10 or whatever version you want. And we're gonna click on show all downloads, and once this drop downs, uh, you wanna look for the um, version that has a full shade of star, not the half shade of star. Um, once you find the full shade of star, you go ahead and click on the I next to installer-win, and go and save that to your desktop. And then where it says universal, click on the I, and we're gonna go into the folder that we made, so tutorial, and then we go into the bin folder, and now we're going to rename this to mod mod pack dot jar just like that hit save and after those two are done downloading we can exit out of that and we're going to go to our desktop now um you want to double click on the exe uh, file of the forge and this should open up and make sure this is install client we're going to hit ok and now it's going to download forge and it's installed and if it does come with some errors or anything you might have to do the java uh, java stuff that i showed you guys in the beginning of the video but um, it will create a exe log file you can actually delete both of these folders as we have um, installed forge already so just delete those two we don't need those um, after you have done that what you want to do is now look for your mod so we're going to go into the mods uh, folder right here and we're going to go to uh, back to our browser and this website will be linked down below as well but this website will give you a full list of every mod that is available for the version so if you click on the list tab right here you can choose whatever version that you're going with so i'm going with 1.8 and this is the list for 1.8 and just keep in mind you can only get the mods that are universal and has a forge required um, tag and also has the forge compatible tag you can't get the ones that is not forge compatible those will not work so i'm going to get my mods and i'll be right back all right now what you want to do is get those three um jar files um, make sure they are jar and just drag those into uh, your mod section of your folder and excuse me It's not three. It could be however many mods you want um, Just make sure they're one um, whatever version that you're going with so mine is 1.8 and they're forge compatible um, This is where you might run into some problems some mods may not be compatible with another So just keep that in mind this is where you have to pretty, uh, pretty much test out to see if they work and um, Now what we want to do is copy all those three mods Copy like so, open another folder, and then go to percent app data percent, type that in right there, hit enter, and it should take you right here, go into your .minecraft folder, um, make sure you have never used Forge before, and if you have, just delete your mods uh, folder and delete the Forge version, but uh, um, just make sure you have never used uh, Forge, so uh, you're going to make a new folder in here, call it mods, hit enter, go into that folder, and right click and paste, and this should paste all the mods like so. Now what you want to do is simply just start up Minecraft. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Uh, choose a profile of Forge. So that should be the Forge version that we downloaded and hit play. And once you're in the Minecraft menu, uh, go to mods and make sure all the mods that you have installed are shown over here. And they are for me. So we're going to hit done. We're going to just exit out of Minecraft. Now we go back to our .minecraft folder and it should make a new folder in your .minecraft folder called config. Go into that and copy everything that's in there. So right click copy, make sure you selected everything and then we can exit out of that and now 
in our tutorial folder or wherever folder that you made we're going to go into that and go into our config folder on that and right click and paste all those um, config files so after you have done that we can now archive all of these so what you want to do is select all of them and right click and add to archive and where it says archive name and you will not have that um, add to archive option if you didn't install WinRAR so install WinRAR by the way and uh, once this comes up um, change the name to modpack and change the archive format to .zip so it should be called modpack oops there we go modpack.zip like so we're gonna hit OK and there there we go we have our modpack.zip folder now what we want to do is go to our internet browser we can exit out of that and now we're gonna go to tech uh, technicpack.net and uh, once you're on the site you want to do two things so first thing you want to get the launcher so right click and open link in the new tab uh, click windows and go ahead and save this to your desktop or wherever you want and uh, i already have it so i'm not going to do that but um after you've done that what you want to do is click on register right here and go ahead and make an account on this website and then um after you've done that which i already have made an account just go ahead and click on sign in and I'm just going to sign in real quick. To have signed in, you should take you to your dashboard. And what you want to do is hover over your name and click on create a mod pack. And once you're here, you want to give your mod pack a name, um, my test mod pack or something. And then you want to put the version. So I'm going with 1.8 um, hidden pack. So I want to check this right here. So basically, if you check that, that means um, you don't have permission from the mod creators to actually make this mod pack. So if you want to actually make this public, and um, you know, if you want to make this public, you actually have to get um, permission from every um, mod creator from the mods that you're putting into your mod pack. So I don't have any permission from them, so I'm just going to make this hidden. But it's okay, you can still um, play with your friends. You can give the link and play with your friends. So just I'm just going to make it hidden. But if you actually do have the permission, you can uncheck that. Um, in the short description, you can just put whatever um, you want here. And then agree to the mod pack terms. So when you had click, uh, click on create a mod pack and this name has already been taken so I'm just gonna rename that real quick all right create a mod pack and there you go it should take you right here and what you want to do is click on edit mod pack and once you have done that it should take you to your general settings you can this is where you can edit more of your mod pack and stuff like that but we're gonna only uh, focus our attention to the mod pack location this is where we're gonna put our URL address for our upload directory so this is where you want to go to dropbox.com once you're on Dropbox on the Dropbox website go and sign up and then it should start a download for Dropbox don't download that just cancel that and go to dropbox.com slash home after you've done that make sure you verified your email um, the email address you used for signing up on the site after you have done that what you want to do is click on the upload right here choose files and then go ahead and go to the folder that we made then choose the modpack.zip folder like so it should start uploading and this may take a long time depending on how much mods you put into your mod pack also one thing i did forget to mention you do have to have winrar so i left a link for winrar as well and uh, once you're on this side just download the one that's applicable for your computer your 32 bit or 64 bit obviously we'll need winrar um, when we have to archive and stuff like that sorry i forgot to mention that so you do need winrar installed on your computer so we're gonna go ahead and exit out of that and then go back to the Dropbox website. And once it's done uploading, you're gonna click on share right here. And make sure it says anyone with the link can see it. We're gonna copy the link like so. And then we're gonna go to our mod pack, back to this. And where it says mod pack location, right click and paste that. And where it says DL equals zero in the end, change that to DL equals one. This will make it directly download. And then we're going to, um, you can actually go on and do more stuff like pages. Well, you can edit more description and stuff like that and resources where you can upload the logo and icon and background of your mod pack um, which shows up on the Technic Launcher. But I'm not gonna do any of that so I'm gonna just click on the settings, back to the settings. And it, I think I just erased it so we're gonna paste that again, change that to one. And then go all the way down and update mod pack. So after you have done that, I should say change is saved. We're gonna click on back to mod pack. And after you have done that, we're gonna now hover over and install this mod pack. Highlight that, right click copy, and then we're gonna go to our desktop. And then we can actually exit out of this folder and then delete the folder as we'll not uh, need that anymore. And then we're gonna double click on our Technic Launcher like so. And this should start up the installation, just click on install. Go ahead and log in with your Minecraft account. All right, once you're logged in, click on mod packs. And once you're on this, where it says add pack, click on that and on your keyboard, um, press control V. And should paste it in like so and then you can just click on install and there you go once you click on install it should start uh, downloading the uh, mods and the minecraft version 
for you so just let it do this and I'll be right back and uh, while it's doing that if you do get an unzipping error when you click on install you can also do this go to percent app data percent and go to dot technic and once you're in there go into your cache not cache folder sorry your mod packs folder and delete anything that's in here but I'm not gonna do that cons uh, since mine worked but if you're do have if you do have like unzipping problem or error or something like that when you click on install just go ahead and do that and just go ahead and um, open up Technic Launcher, paste that in and click on install again after doing that and should hopefully work. All right now just go ahead and hit play and then it should start up your Minecraft. It should load all the mods and stuff like that. And there you go, you can click on mods and see all the mods are right there like so. You can even go in, make a new world and then once we're in our world we can hit E and I'm just gonna prove to you guys that it actually did work. So if type in TV here, there we go, that's the TV from Craze Furniture Mod. And if we spawn in something right here, and there we go, our damage indicator works as you can see right there. So there you go, that's how you make your own mod pack. Um, you can give the, um, what is it? You can give the mod pack uh, URL to your friends and they can download Technic Launcher and put in that URL and download your mod pack and play your mod pack and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do uh, make your own mod pack. If you have, um, if this video helped, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and until then, guys, I'll be back with a new video. Peace.